Welcome Rebels, I'm Natalie Gentili, founder of Rebel Wellness, and today we're gonna to do a 10 minute pelvic floor core exercise program. We are gonna do most of this on our mat, so you can get started in a seated position. I am a mom of two, I've had a lot of pelvic surgeries, I definitely struggle with pelvic floor dysfunction, and so here's some of the things that I do to try and keep my pelvic floor strong and healthy and recover while maintaining a strong exercise regimen. So, we're gonna get started on our backs. She said, so make your way slowly onto your back, planting the feet. Um, go ahead and press into your heels, lighten up your toes, and start to just feel that pelvic floor like a bowl, rocking back and forth, just noticing that tilt, you lift the glutes slightly off of the mat. And then when you tilt it forward, lifting that pelvis up and really raising that arch in your low back. And then just come to where your back falls naturally. So not necessarily pressing that low back into the mat, just a natural tilt. We're gonna go into some toe taps. So moving those feet out, lift one foot, tap it down. Lift one foot, tap it down. Start to engage here from the pelvic floor, up through, toward that navel. Everything working in together. You can even take the hands and place them on the hip bones. I'm gonna do a few more of these from this position. And if this feels like it's plenty for you, that is a-okay. We wanna take it to another level. I'm gonna go after this repetition and bring my knees up bent. Again, re-engaging in that pelvic floor. This time I'm gonna tap down. You'll automatically feel a lot more engagement in the transverse abdominis, which is the lower abs. This is already more work in the rectus, which is my upper abdominals as well. So again, this is not for everyone. Keep going with those toe taps. Start to breathe deep, inhales and exhales. Everything working together here. Four, three, Two, and one, go ahead and rest. Both feet down, Ooh. Beautiful, so that was our toe taps. Next up, we're going to go into some glute bridges. So go ahead and plant the heels down again. Again, natural curve in the spine. Pressing to those heels, you can press your hands down on the mat and just slowly lift the glutes off of the ground. Now, a lot of us want to automatically squeeze into our glute muscles or squeeze that butt. I don't want you to do that. So go ahead and release there. Instead, squeezing into your quads, the tops of the thighs. Bring up through that pelvic floor, into the midline, into the navel, and breathe. Every inhale, let the pelvic floor drop. Every exhale, we engage in, bringing it in. More inhale. And one more exhale. And slower down. So we're gonna go into that one more time. So lift up from that pelvic bridge, releasing in the glutes, engaging in the quads, and breathe. Beautiful. Two more deep breaths. Squeeze in those quads, up through that pelvic floor, everything, back to those basics every time. And go ahead and lower down. Beautiful work, my friends. Next up, we're going into some dead bugs here. So if you are really starting from basic, maybe you're totally postpartum very early on and things are really kind of tender down there, still even months later, that can be really challenging. So what I want you to do is keep the feet planted and do this move. It's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna take my right arm back and my left leg forward, come back to center and switch sides. And keep going there. If you want to take it to the next level, start to plant that back into the mat, engaging in the deep core and continue with the opposite arm, opposite leg. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend center. Very nice, keep breathing. Come 
back to that breath. Engage the pelvic floor. One more each side. Beautiful. Bend the knees and lower the feet. Woo, feel those for sure. Next up, we're going into all fours. So I'm gonna start to bend my knees, rock forward. Nice, I hope you're feeling good so far. We're gonna come onto all fours here, stacking the shoulders over wrists and the hips over the knees. And much like we did with those dead bugs, we are going to be doing some opposite arm, opposite leg movement here. So pressing into the mat, nice flat back. Knees are about hip width apart. Again, if we're going to start from base here, take that right leg back and plant the foot and reach the left arm forward. And this is beautiful holding right here. Again, zip up through that pelvic floor, press through the right hand. Now, if you want to take it lifted on that back leg, go for it. And then if you want to take it even further, you can tuck center. Big exhale, inhale, straighten. Exhale. We're going to do five each side. One more. You know, I love that move because my standing leg, the left leg there, the one that's really rooted into the mat, with pelvic floor dysfunction, we can also get some weakness in the glute muscles. And that planted leg is doing a lot of work. So I want you to notice it on this side. Again, press into the mat. Take a left leg back this time. And this is the base here. You can stay here, reaching with the right arm. Automatically notice if that right butt kind of booty pops out to the side. Bring it center and engage. Lift that pelvic floor. Now, if you want to straighten here, go for it. And if you want to come with me, we're going to do five of these tucks toward the center. One. Inhale, straight. Exhale, two. Three. Four. Five. Straighten. Set everything down. Nice. Go ahead and sink back into a child's pose. In this child's pose position, can you release through that pelvic floor? Can you sink those hips back toward the heels? And child's pose can definitely be edited. So if you have a belly that is going to be, you know, uncomfortable on the knees, you can take the legs wide. Um, if you want to do a child's pose where the knees are in because of some hip flexor issues or some hip mobility issues, that is absolutely fine. So trend forward and breathe here. We're going to move into our last move, which is our modified side planks. So I'm going to come onto my left side here. I'm going to take my left forearm down to the mat. I'm going to take my left leg, my bottom leg, bent. Okay. Coming up into a side plank. Now, these knees can be stacked. The top leg can be straight. I'm going to take you from that base. Next level, straight. Full on, straight top leg. Lastly, straight both legs. You know, after I've had surgeries, that did not feel good for a long time. Um, you know, pelvic surgeries, hernia repairs, those kinds of things can be really pinchy when you're using the core. Breathe here. Do what you feel comfortable with, with the body you brought today. <sighs> Three more deep breaths. Come out of back nice and slowly release. Just for the purposes of you being able to see me, I'm gonna turn this way to go on my right side. Again, set up from the base. So lifting, I've got that bottom knee bent. I've got my right shoulder stuffed over my right elbow. So we've got base, next level, full level here. Breathe. Full purpose side plank is really to engage in the oblique muscles. But for the purposes of pelvic floor too, I want you to think again of that engagement up through center, navel into spine, and breathe. About 10 more seconds. Try and release in the glutes there, because they're going to want to really squeeze. Just lift the top abs to the sky. 
and one. Come on out. Awesome. We're gonna finish with some cat cows. So coming onto all fours. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Big inhale, head up, tailbone high. Exhale, round and press that ground away, tucking the head down, tucking the pelvis in. Inhale, pelvic floor drops, tailbone high. Exhale, pelvic floor engages up and in, and you round. Two more. Exhale. Last one. And exhale. Mm, that's good stuff. Thank you so much for joining me for this 10-minute pelvic floor core exercise program. You can come back to this again and again. And I want you to know that there's no shame in that being challenging for you. Okay, you are a beautiful work in progress. We all are. Follow along for more of this type of content. And take care, Rebels.